Well guys, I'm about ready to take my avalanche out. Look at how muddy it is. You guys like me doing a video on the avalanche and vlogs and stuff. Yeah, see it's not all that much. It's been melting. I guess it says it's 39 degrees out, but I don't know if it is. But let's see. We'll open the garage door and we'll see here. I gotta go pay my water bill and stuff. Yep, it is 40 degrees out. It feels good. That snow should be gone, they said. It's supposed to be 40 degrees all weekend. <clears throat> Let's see. 212,163. I haven't drove very much. It's got a little bit of lifter noise. I think the battery's going dead in this remote. I'll have to get it replaced. It's a bitch to get that replaced. I'd have to do it during the winter time, of course. Oh, it's so hard to turn around in my driveway. Oh, I hit the snowbank. Oh. All right, guys. So, I'll be doing a vlog today, and I gotta go pay my water bills, and, and uh, bought another shock absorber for my washer again, another one broke, well it was already broke. So I gotta go pay for that and get that, and I'll probably do a video of installing it, I didn't do it with the first time, it's really easy to install, I'll just snap it right in place, plastic crap. So, I gotta go to work today, and uh, I'll vlog when I get back to you. Hey guys, it's uh, almost 7 o'clock at night on uh, Thursday, and my camera battery went dead after I made my first vlog. Sad. So I didn't get the videotape to most of the day, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But I was going to show you me putting the shock absorber in, but I had to get it in, and the battery was, you know, char or, you know not charged. Here is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, i got to focus here shock absorber for the washer and it, right now it is washing clothes now I was gonna see how it would turn out here seems to be doing pretty good and I haven't heard it spin yet because one side was broke the left side and then I discovered the right side was broke here I don't know if you can see it let's see here see it's uh, cracked one pin there and it's just one side holding I was like that's not gonna that's gonna make it a lot worse for it uh, but anyway what this thing does is it's got grease in it and this thing has like a plastic thing that hooks down there at the bottom and this is what keeps the tub from going back and forth I'll show you here um, you guys probably won't be able to see but this thing, you know, when your tub's going back and forth, this is a got grease in it. You can see the grease in there. And then this goes to prevent it from going out of balance. So I got stuff level down there to help it from going out of balance too. Um, I don't know if it'll spin or not here. It says wash. I don't think it's going to spin completely. But I already see it's balanced really good, too. That's good. I had to put the face back on there, too. Uh, we've had these washers since 2005. The dryer and washer. You can see the dryer's kind of, you know. Oh, yeah. That is definitely a lot better. It would be shaking the whole house by now. Oh yeah, that, that this definitely was the problem. And why would they make a plastic one? I can't figure that out. I I really don't understand that. Oh yeah, that's better. See, I'm even shaking the washer. Yeah, it's perfect. 
So uh, I spent a uh, hundred bucks on both of them so far. So about a hundred bucks with tax and everything for these shock absorbers, which uh, you know you really should have them when it's uh, like a three thousand dollar washer um, instead of wrecking your washer. Same with my fridge. Uh, the fan went out inside, so I use turbine oil. <laughs> That's what it says. And uh, I squirted it down in the fan and it quit squealing, so the fan works now. You can hear it running, but it's not as loud as it was before. I've used turbine oil on, or whatever the hell it's called, on everything. It's lubrication oil. And it helps stuff from, you know, going bad. Fans and stuff, I use it on everything. So, I'll give you guys a little update down here in the basement on stuff. So, an update on the Bobcat. We got a hydraulic hose that leaks. Uh, the person that put it on didn't put it on right. Oh, camera will focus. Uh, so the connectors just sit there and drip and then the belt spinning and it sprays the oil up there and on the engine and on the muffler and up above and it's really not fun. So other than that, it runs. Look at my muffler. Yeah. Works. It's right next style. <laughs> uh, Avalanche has been running good. No issues. I've gotten, haven't gotten stuck. I used 4x4 because we, when we got uh, 10 inches of snow. Um, it's supposed to be in the 50s and maybe even the 60s, but I don't think we'll get that high. But it's supposed to be all week. It's supposed to melt all the snow and be gone. So I don't know what's wrong with the weather, but I like it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's something I was going to show you guys. I don't remember what it was in here. Do I have it with me? No, I don't. Yeah, the truck runs good. It needs to be cleaned out. It's a little dirty, but, um, you know, nothing's really perfect when I got it. But, but I do love my truck. It works good. So, enough about that. Uh, some people have been asking me, are you going to use your hot tub? I am. Um, no, I'm not going to use it. Um... Maybe when it gets really cold, I will use it. Uh, first, I gotta fix the seal on the pump, and I just haven't had time to mess with it because I'm I've been busy and stuff, and um, I might be able to have time in a couple of weeks to fix that. Take the pump out and put a new seal in, and uh, fill the hot tub up, and then I gotta put these uh, chloride and all that spa stuff in there so algae don't form and. And then I probably will use it. It works. It just leaks the pump. It needs a seal. So, I mean, but there's a downside. It takes 800 gallons of water and 2100 watts to run it. When I plug it in, the whole lights in the house dimmed down. Well, not the whole lights, but in the basement, the lights dim down and then they come back on. It's like, ooh, fire. A fire hazard. <laughs> I think, anyway. That's what I opinionally think. So, let's see what Kitty's doing. I'm washing my bedding here, and she's laying right on my bedding, of course. She was. There she is. Now she's laying on my clothes. Why? Why? Why must she lay on my clothes? Huh? Yeah, she's a sweetie. You know, this cat is, you know, 14, 15 years old, and she don't look 15 years old. She's still like a baby kitty. Look at how she walks. No problem. She'll stretch here, I bet. No? But she walks no problem. She works, walks fine. She's playful. She still gets pretty pissy. Come here. Look here. Hey. Let's see if she can get my hand here. Kitty. Kitty. Hey. Whoop. Oh, here, look. Look at her eyes, see? Yeah, she's still playful. She just doesn't want to play on camera. Hey, kitty. Hmm? You're so cute. Huh? Oh, you're such a fuzzball. Well, the reason why she's got long hair, and I gotta cut that, it looks like it might hurt her. The reason why she's got long hair is because she's a Maine Coon Cat breed. That's why. When my furnace is turned on, that click, that was a thermostat. Oh, thank you. 
Got the furnace turned up a little high. I should turn it down. So, Kitty, should we end the vlog? I mean, there's nothing really to film tonight. Kind of a boring video day. Yeah.